am Cindy Pankoff here at my creative place in Fullerton, California, and today I'm going to share with you some tips and tricks for working with syringe. It tends to be one of the most anxiety-ridden techniques out there. People are afraid to um, work with the syringe because they don't feel like they have the control and the ability to lay down nice lines. So I'm going to show you some of my favorite things that I do to help give me a lot of control and hopefully those things will help you out as well. So first of all I want to talk about why it's important to learn because there certainly is a whole lot more to using syringe than just sticking pieces of metal clay together. So I want to show you some examples of different um, different ways of utilizing syringe in your metal clay pieces. So first of all I've got some earrings here that were made entirely out of syringe just uh, extruded around little discs of cork clay so those end up being hollow and here um, on this bracelet just regular lump clay um, was rubber stamped and dried and then I applied the syringe on there to give it a nice decorative effect if you do cake decorating that kind of thing is going to feel very natural to you and then moving right along here I call this one drawing with syringe so it's got a regular clay uh, backing and then all the line work is just drawn on um, with syringe. The next one down is stacked layers and layers and layers of syringe so it makes little walls and stones are set in there. This is a ring where I use syringe to make these crazy uh, Lorax Dr. Seussian uh, shapes that are mounted onto a ring and then uh, another example of working with syringe um, over a cork form like a little bird in a cage um, there as well and um, I'm not even showing using syringe as uh, a stone setting method so there are so many different ways that you need to learn how to work with syringe so that you can be as versatile of an artist as you want to be with uh, metal clay. So I've drawn some diagrams to help illustrate the important techniques. So the number one thing that you're going to do is first you're going to just squirt out a little bit of syringe so you have something to tack down onto the onto the work surface. Then you're going to stick that little blob down onto the surface, just tap it down and then you start pushing from the back and extruding some of the syringe and notice I'm lifting the tip up off the table. This is absolutely critical if you want to get good syringe lines you have to lift the tip up off the table. And then as you're working and you continue to extrude the clay you gradually are moving away but you're keeping that tip off the surface Oops, so that um, it can fall into the position that you want it to. And then when you're finished, when you get to the end, then you take the tip and you go down to the surface. Just give it a little bit of a toothpaste swipe at the, at the end. And then there's probably going to be a little pokey bit there. You're going to take a lightly damp brush and tap that down so that you don't have that funky little um, nubbin sticking up there. All right, so let's see what that looks like for real. Uh, first of all, when you're working with the syringe, you always need to keep it in a moist environment. I have a whole lot more information on what to put your syringe in and how to store it in a, in a separate video. So if you want to see more about that, um, you can go ahead and check that, uh, that separate video out. So I've got my little cup with water. And whenever you take the syringe out of the water, there's going to be a teensy little water droplet on the tip. And you have to get rid of that. So either wipe it on a paper towel or wipe it on the back of your hand. I don't care, but you have to get that off because if you go to do that little extrude the little tidbit thing and tack it down, the water is just going to make it float and then you won't be able to lift it up off the surface of the table. So let's get on in here close and, and take a peek at what I'm talking about. So I'm wiping that tip off. I'm going to extrude just a tiny little bit. I'm just going to practice on my work surface here. I'm going to tack it down start squeezing and I'm gonna lift it up 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 now what I want you to notice look how look how I can move that wherever I want and then I can lay it down wherever I want so I can make a really straight line 
or I could then change my mind and put a little curly cue on the end. When I'm done, I'm going to tack it down, pop it up off the surface, and then to deal with that little pokey bit at the end, I'm going to take a lightly damp brush and tap that down. Now I want you to pay attention. Look how nice and even that line work is. If which is the most common thing that people want to do. There's security, like a pen to paper, that you want to have that contact with the work surface. If I squirt out a little bit and I keep the tip down, I want you to notice every little movement my hand makes shows in that extrusion. It's lumpy, it's bumpy, and it's thoroughly stuck down to the table. If you do the other method, we squirt it out, tack it down, and lift. I can change my mind all over the place and still end up with a really, really straight line. And the, the shape of the extrusion is better. Now say I didn't quite get it like I wanted it. I can take my lightly damp brush, because it's just barely laying on the surface, I can take the brush and I can just nudge it into position. So I'm not distorting the shape. I can keep it nice and nice and round, but very even, and you'll end up with so much more control. So another thing to keep in mind is the direction that you're working. You want to start with the syringe closest to your non-dominant hand and then work away. That's going to give you a natural flow so that the syringe can just like fall into position. So you'll start here and work this way. And then just turn your, turn your board or your work so that you can always have that consistent motion. Another thing is you want to rest your arm on the table. There's a, a, a need to want to feel like you have some security when you're touching down with the, um, uh, with the syringe so it doesn't feel like you're floating aimlessly. So by bracing your arm on the table, that's going to give you security so that you can stay focused on just maneuvering your wrist. And then as far as holding the syringe goes, we don't need to hold it like this because we're not injecting anybody. You want to put it in your hand. If you've done any cake decorating, this should feel very, very natural to you. So you hold it. This little flange is resting on your, um, on your finger. And then you've got your thumb here to press down to get the clay um, moving out. So that way you're just moving your wrist and that again is going to give you a whole lot more control. Now for practicing, say you don't want to waste a bunch of clay for your practice. First of all, you're never going to throw anything away so you're going to take the scrap stuff and throw it in your paste jar. But if you want to do a lot of practicing, if you have an old syringe, if you have a dud, then you can clean it out and you can actually load it with toothpaste. It has about the same consistency, so then you can take that and practice your hand position, your movement, letting the clay fall into position, and that'll get you all warmed up and ready uh, to, to start practicing with the real deal. Another thing I want to mention is whenever you're attaching wet clay to dry clay, always be sure that you moisten the dry clay first so that it can stick. In a situation where you're doing, like with this one, where you're drawing with the syringe, the backing plate needs to be moist or when you go to draw on it, all those syringe marks are just going to flake off afterwards. So uh, be sure whenever you have wet to dry that you moisten first just by lightly dampening a brush, putting some water on and letting it soak in first. So those are my syringe tips. I hope they're helpful for you and that it helps ease some of your fears about working with syringe. I'm Cindy Pankoff, and my website is www.cpcreativeplace.com. Thanks for watching.